cleared. Cleared. This should be a spanking new TT04 chip and demo board, and I want to try it out and show you how to get started with a little tour and quick start guide where we'll bring it up, select projects with the Commander app, interact through the terminal and file system, and I'll show you how easy it is to update the OS and SDK. So let's take a look at what I got. <laughs> okay, I haven't got the official Tiny Tape Out 04 demo board yet. This is the 3.5, but it does have a TT04 chip as the sticker kindly indicates. Now, this ASIC is filled with something like 150 cool projects, and we just need to figure out how to start her up and start playing. So this quick start will give you an idea of some of the things you can do. Now, the whole system has been through QA and should have a nice sticker, but it's also traveled a lot. So first thing is to take a quick look and make sure that the mailman didn't sit on it and that the carrier's well in installed here and that nothing's broken. Next, get a cable with a USB type C connector and a power supply or phone charger or anything that's 5V. Now we gently stick it in there and power up. Now the draw is less than 200 milliamps, so uh, nothing should get too warm or smoky. Uh, the three LEDs should light up there. Uh, yeah, I know the 1V8 is pretty dim. I need to put a FET there in it rather than rely on the forward voltage drop. Uh, but hey, it, it's lit, it's lit, okay? If all is going well, you'll notice the seven segment display doing a little dance. If like normal people, you didn't immediately recognize a binary counter, that's okay, don't worry, you will soon enough. <laughs> okay, so this board looks all good. Uh, time to interact with it. For this, we'll need that USB cable's other end plugged into a computer. Now, the absolute easiest way to get going is with the Commander app, straight from a browser. Plugged into a computer here, use Chrome or Opera or Edge. It's pretty intuitive, uh, but I'll walk through a few flows. So with the board plugged into USB, head to commander.tinytypeout.com, click Connect to Board, see the pop-up, select the device and press Connect, It sees the shuttle, TT04, yay. The SDK installed is visible here too. Click the project combo box. You can see the whole list and choose any project. Here I'm going to select seven segment tiny tape out display. Click that select button. Does nothing because the synchronous projects need to be clocked. So let's click interact, click clock once repeatedly and see that seven segment change, very neat. So you can also use auto clocking, click config, uh, let's set a low clock speed so we can see it and uh, click set. Okay, so that works. Now I got my hands on one of these uh, sweet extension boards. So this PMOD fits directly into the three at the bottom here. Now we'll select Uri's Simon project and clock it at 50 kilohertz. Simon! <laughs> now that's neat. This is a cool project that shows off how you can make something really usable uh, through the PMODs. Now if you want to explore or interact with projects in greater depth, there's a MicroPython SDK that gives you easy access to pretty much everything. It's pretty well documented on the repo and with examples, but let's take a look. You can access a REPL through the USB serial terminal with your favorite terminal program connect to the same port as you saw listed by the Commander app for uh, me under Linux, that's dev TTYSEM0. Could be something else depending on OS and what you've got plugged in there. Now, from there, a TT object, which represents the tiny tape out demo board, is available and is the main handle for the whole system. It'll let you see which projects are available and enable any one of them. Control the reset and project clock. Observe or set any of the I.O., including the direction of the bidirectional pins. Now you can do pretty much anything either manually or write scripts to do things automatically for you. Now the SDK and configuration are in the onboard flash in a file system. Now if you want to get your own content in there, you need a way to move files around. Now let's say I want to take this marvel of technology and fun and hand it off to my niece so she can drool all over it while playing Simon. 
I don't want to have to go to connect to the commander every time we power back up. I just want Simon to load on boot. Now this is a one line change to the config ini file that's in here. So we need to get to that file, make that change and stick it back on the board. Now there are many ways to get things on and, and from the FS like R shell on anything really that lets you access a micro Python file system will do. But my favorite is now MPy Repl tool. You can install that with pip. Then you can list files on the device, pull files from the demo board and make changes and push them back. So here I get the config ini and change the default project line to the name of the Simon project. And that's it. Once I've uploaded the file to the demo board, Simon will load up on every restart. Now this is great for projects that can be used with PMODs or uh, just with the input dip and seven segment display, no computer required. Last thing I should cover is updating the SDK itself. Now you could use the methods already described to upload the entire SDK file by file. But if you want a fresh start or to level everything up in one go, there's no easier way than to release uh, UF2 files. On the GitHub repo, head to releases and you'll see that each release has a few assets, including a TT demo rp 2040 uh, uf 2 file. All you need to do is get that, connect to the demo board to the computer while holding the boot button, top left there, then release the button. An RPI RP2 drive will appear and you can just copy that file over. It can take half a minute or so to be done, but once it's all copied, the drive will go away and the system will do a little first boot dance and you can now use the upgraded demo, bo uh, demo board as before. All right, with all that, you should be all set to explore your own project and all the other great stuff on the chip. If you're playing with the SDK, check the docs and examples, and no matter what, you can always pop questions into the Discord. So have fun. Cheers.